Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, veterans, and your families. Welcome. We're here today to recognize eight more Highland Senior Veteran members to the Veterans Wall. And we'll begin our ceremony with Roger Newell uh, coming forward and uh, preparing for the posting of colors and the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you, Georgia. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Veterans, you have a right to salute the flag whenever you're there. You don't have to put your hand over your heart. That's a congressional right, so please respect it. Please honor it if you choose. Post the colors. Stand by. Colors. Please stand. Please join me with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. May be seated. I want to offer personal thanks for the Kirtland Color Guard. They've been very supportive to our ceremonies, and it's great to see them out here. I'll turn this back over to Georgia. Again, I want to welcome you. It truly warms my heart to be able to do these ceremonies and to be here today and share it with you and your families and our community. And the reason we're able to do that is because the incredible support we have. And I want you to know our mayor has uh, chosen to honor our veterans since he came into this administration. And by doing so, he hired Roger Newell and made sure our veterans got the attention they deserve. So it gives me great pleasure now in introducing our mayor, Richard J. Berry. Thank you so much. Let me get button this up here, sorry about that. Well, good morning. Good morning. Everybody's looking sharp. 
Great day in Albuquerque, beautiful, sunshiny day. So I'm so honored to be here. Uh, Juliana, thank you so much uh, for all that you do and everybody here at the center. So I would like to start off by giving them a round of applause. They do such wonderful work. <laughs> Georgia, thank you so much. You have a passionate leader at the Department of Senior Affairs. Uh, she is consistently working with me as the mayor to make sure that Albuquerque is a great place to be a senior. But today is about you. Today is about our veterans. And we're here for a number of reasons. We're here to celebrate you, and we're here to celebrate your service. And I'm so pleased that you brought your families with you today. Because you see, everything that we do today, from the time we get up to the time we go to bed, is built on this foundation in this country of freedom and of liberty. And somebody had to fight for that. And that was you. You were servants to our country then, and you're servants now. And we're glad that you come to the senior centers and get enjoyment from this great place that we have as a city. But each and every day, you should know that we're thankful. We're thankful for you. We're thankful for the 170,000 veterans we have in the state of New Mexico. Because you are why we are great. So this wall was, was really an idea that we came up with at City Hall. And Roger Newell, who's right here, who's our first ever veterans liaison to the mayor's office, gets up every day to make sure that you have a good day. And when we started talking about honoring you, we thought, well, how can we do this in a way that, that lasts? You know, we want to have a great day today, but we want this celebration and this honor to last for a long, long time. And we want you to continue to inspire people. And that's what this wall is about. So not only will you be able to, when you're on the wall, bring your family in, bring your grandkids in, bring whoever you want in, and say, look, this was me. This is me when I was, you know, 1954, and this is, and this is, of course, you today. And it's got a little story about what you did. But you have to think about other people that come into the center. Think about the child, the kid that's going to come in here over the years. Because your picture's going to be up here for a long, long time. Think about the person that comes in here that's maybe having a tough day. Maybe, maybe their life isn't going the way they want it today. Maybe they're looking for inspiration, and they need somebody to lift them up. Well, you're going to be there for them. They don't know you, but they're going to get a chance to see your picture, read your story, and better understand what service to your country looks like. So that's why we're so thrilled to be here. Why I'm so thrilled to be here today was to say thank you today, but let's let you know that we're going to honor you for a long time, and you're going to continue to be an inspiration to those in our community. And uh, you deserve it. You deserve it. You did a great job for us, for our nation. and. Uh, as your mayor, I appreciate it. So thank you for letting me be here today to help you celebrate. Thank you. As we move forward, I'm going to introduce Roger Newell, say a few words, and then we will begin the ceremony. And uh, the mayor will help Roger put the uh, pictures on the wall with your assistance. Again. Veterans, thank you for all you do. Roger Newell. Thank you, Georgia. Mayor, thank you for those kind words. Really appreciate that. And really, the mayor has summed up everything that this wall is. So I can't really say a whole lot other than the fact that being a veteran, um, being a combat wounded veteran, being able to stand in front of each of you give you the opportunity to be recognized for your service for those people that come later. What we'll do here is I'll ask the mayor to come up and he will help hang the photos. <coughs> when I call you out, please come up. I have a, a eight, eight and a half by 11 color picture. We have a, a card and a flag from the mayor and myself for you to take with you. And then we'll hang your picture up here and it'll go on here permanently. The one thing that Georgia and I didn't mention, if down the road, when each of us leaves this world, your frame will get a black stripe on it so we know that you have passed, the frame will not come down. And the other thing you wanna know is these frames are hung alphabetically. So they get moved around every time we do new people. Um, that way we avoid rank, time and service, and egos. 
Okay. Is Larry and I here? No, Larry? I'm sorry. He's the first one down there. He's going to go right here. Okay, gotcha. This is Larry here. And Larry is from the U.S. Army. He was in Vietnam uh, 1965 to 1967. Let's see here. I'm going to use this. There's a hole right there. Oh, there I see it. Got it. Our next veteran, Francis Castillo. Francis is with us. She's U.S. Army. She was part of the Cold War, 1979 to 1981. Thank you, Thank you. Bob Faulkner. Bob was United States Air Force. He was in Vietnam, or Vietnam area, 1959 to 1984. A long time. Yeah. 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 Flag as well. Turn around over here and Brianna's going to get her picture real quick. Got it. 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 <laughs> Mr. Robert Gibson, of Leeson, excuse me. <coughs> Robert was in the Marine Corps. Here's a flag. I don't know if you recognize the hat. <laughs> He's post World War II, 1946 to 1948. You get that. Suitable, suitable for that boarding. Beltran Gutturas. Gutturas. Technical difficulty. <laughs> we taped over the hole. Oh, here comes the weapon. There you go. I trust him. Okay. Well, they need a tall fella to put him way up there. So. Well, that's the end of it. All righty. Wow, look at that. Look at that picture. Beltran was part of the Navy. He was part of Vietnam. That's true. 1961 to 1966. Yeah. <laughs> movie star, man. Looks like a movie star on there. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Hendrickson. Michael here today? No? Okay. Michael was part of the Air Force also. He was part of the Cold War, 1974 to 1994, retired. Placido Sanchez. Placido is not here also, but he was part of the Navy. He was part of World War II, 
1943 to 1945, his ship was actually in Tokyo for the signing. Last but not least, Tim Starkey. Tim was in the U.S. Navy, part of the Cold War, part of our Senior Center program. And so, we appreciate it, Mayor said, your service, your commitment to our country, and your willingness to be recognized. A lot of veterans out there aren't willing to be recognized, and that's unfortunate. We will be doing this again next year, and we will be adding to it. So thank you all very much, Georgia. Thank you, Roger. Something you may not know about Roger is he's a Purple Heart veteran. Let's give him a hand. Each of you here have a story. Each of you here have a family. Each of you experienced something different. But from this day forward, we have something in common. We are here united together as a community to celebrate each other and to celebrate the work of veterans and how we work together as a community. Thank you for all being here. Thank you, veterans. Hope this recognition gives you great pride and honor and that you and your families celebrate this for many years to come. Please join us for light refreshments in the hall. And uh, I want to thank again, the mayor did that so well, thanking the staff here at the center. Let's give them another round of applause. <laughs> Rhonda Methvin, I know she hides out somewhere and she's in the back of the room. Thank you, Rhonda, for all your effort. And of course, the Kirtland Air Force Base Honor Guard for coming here today and sharing your time. Remember this day, keep it close to your heart. We remember you well. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs>